What's good y'all, Riley Beats here, and today, today we're going to be talking about some easy ways that you can make your chord progressions a lot, a lot nicer. So let's get right into it. You could leave a like, comment, and subscribe, that would be greatly appreciated as well. So first, we need to come up with a chord progression. I'm just going to make a really basic 1, 7, 5, 6 progression in E minor. Here's how this sounds already. It sounds a little bit cheesy if you ask me. So one thing that you can do is voice leadings. And to do that, I have a whole music theory video about voice leadings that you can check out. The link to that will be in the description down below. Um, so I'm just gonna change a few of these notes just to add a little bit of voice leadings. So having this G stay consistent throughout will be a voice leading in itself. Here's how it sounds just with that one small change. The next thing that you can do is inversions. And pretty much what inversions are is just bringing up notes an octave or down an octave. So I could bring up this G up an octave. But there's other notes that I'd want to invert as well. I'm just going to copy the bass notes here and bring those down an octave quick. So I want to invert this as well as this up. Now the next thing that you can do with your chord progression to make it sound a lot better is arpeggiation. Pretty much what arpeggiation is, you're just not having all the notes play at the same time, play at different times. And in FL Studio, if you press Alt A, you open up this little arpeggiator. This has all these settings that you can adjust just to change your arpeggiation. So for example, if you want your arpeggiation to sound like this. There's more. That's just something you can do really quickly in FL Studio to arpeggiate your chords. You can also do it manually, um, just something like this. And the reason that that adds a lot more depth to your chords is because it's adding a sense of rhythm. So music's made up of more than just melody, it's made up of rhythm. Once you add a little bit more rhythm to your melodic component, it adds a lot more flavor. And you don't have to necessarily arpeggiate to add rhythm, you can chop your chords up. So for example, you could just do something like this. Oops, you could do something like this, I mean. Or you could even uh, go a little step less. So even that just adds a whole lot more flavor to your chords. Another thing that you can add to your chords is sevenths. Or you can even take it a step further and add ninths, but that's besides the point. Pretty much that's just adding in extra notes to your triad. Uh, so the seventh is just you skip a note past the fifth, you go up to the next note. So in this case, it would be the D. So I just added a bunch of sevenths in here and that adds a lot more flavor to the chords as well as you might have noticed. Another thing you can do to make your chords sound a lot better is by strumming them. And to do this in FL Studio, all you need to do is press Alt S. It opens up the strum the strumizer, strumizer. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I'm not too sure. Uh, you got your time, you got your tension knobs, you have your velocity, same kind of thing. Um, pretty much just the velocity controls the velocity. You can see that down there. And the time just controls the time, as you can see. Tension mainly affects the top notes just by uh, delaying it a little bit more so it's not as even. And same with the, the tension of the velocity. Uh, I like to keep preserved end because I don't want my notes carrying over too long. As well, you can randomize the velocities of your notes with Alt-R. And this will add a bit more level of depth to your notes just because they have a velocity component as opposed to just melodic and rhythm at this point. Uh, you can mess around with the velocity as much as you like. You can mess around with other settings too, like the release, etc.
And finally, one really important thing that you can do to make your chords way, way, way more interesting is by adding some kind of filler note, some notes to transition the chords a little bit better. It might not even be a chord tone, it might just be a tone that you felt fits nicely um, just to transition. So something that I think could work here is just going to the two of the scale. Or even the one. Anything you see that could transition into another note very well. Adding in that little bit of uh, transition notes and just keeping the rhythm to it a little similar as well added a whole lot of depth just because the notes are transitioning a bit better there's a bit more flow going in and again it plays into that rhythm component that I mentioned earlier. Anyways that's just a few things that you can do to make your chord progressions and your chords in general a lot more interesting and sound a lot less cheesy because no one really wants cheesy chords. So if you could leave a like, comment, and subscribe I'd greatly appreciate that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Peace.